I hope you're having a good week. So glad you stopped by. I want to be an encouragement to you this week as we continue our message on the diamonds of the cross. And this week we're going to be looking at the love of the cross. You don't want to miss the next 30 minutes. Welcome to This is Carol Robertson, spreading the love of Christ in word and song. This week, we'll be continuing our teaching series entitled Diamonds of the Cross, and Carol will be singing from many of the beautiful locations where we have filmed. You don't want to miss this program today, so stay tuned for the next 30 minutes. And now, here's Carol. Thank you, Brother David Brewer, and thank you for tuning in this week as we continue our series on the Diamonds of the Cross. This week we're going to be talking about the love of the cross. So let's go hear some music that we pray will prepare your hearts for the message. And I'll be back as we continue this message. Somebody made every rocking tree. Somebody made the land and sea. I know what it is and I'm going to tell you. Who told no it was going to rain. For 40 days the judgment came. Way up in the sky, His love can lift you high. I know who it is, and I'm gonna tell. His name is Jesus, who I know well. Somebody made every rocking tree. I know who it is, and I'm gonna tell. Who gave Moses the rules of man? Who saved Daniel in the lion's den? Say Jonah from the big old way Who saved me from the fires of hell Way up in the sky His love can lift you high I know who it is and I'm gonna tell His name is Jesus who I know well Who gave Moses the rules of men I know who it is and I'm gonna tell who gave his life on a tree? Who gave it all for you and me? Who it is and I'm gonna tell. Whose blood can wash your sins away? Who can take you to heaven some sweet day? Way up in the sky, his love can lift you high. I know who it is and I'm gonna tell. His name is Jesus who I know well. His love can lift you high I know who it is, but I'm gonna tell His name is Jesus, who I know well Who gave his life on a tree I know who it is, but I'm gonna tell His name is Jesus, who I know well As we continue the Diamonds of the Cross, this week I'm gonna be talking about the love of the cross. And we could be talking about the love of the cross for weeks and weeks. So I'm just going to be hitting the high points. But you can't talk about the love of the cross without talking about John 3.16 and John 3.17. Let's read them, shall we? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. I must give you the context. Jesus was talking to a religious Jew named Nicodemus who did not believe that God loved the world. He loved the Jewish people and all the Gentiles would be outside of the kingdom. But here comes the Jewish Messiah, Jesus. And he says, no, Nicodemus, God not only loves Israel, he loves the whole world. And he loved the world so much that he gave his only son that they would just believe in him they will have eternal life. And he goes on to say that he didn't send Jesus to condemn us. He could have easily condemned us all, but he came to save us. In Romans 5, 8, the Bible says, but God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You've heard that verse all your life. None of us are deserving. None of us are good. The Bible says there's none good, no, not one. But through the death of Christ on the cross, listen, God can be holy and just and still forgive us sinners. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't die for us while we were good people. He died for us while we were lost and undone, 
so we could be righteous in his eyes. Listen to what the Apostle Paul said in Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Christ not only told me he loved me, he proved that he loved me by giving himself for me. This is what Paul is saying. Paul is saying, I'm not living the Christian life. It's Christ living in me. Only he can satisfy the righteousness of heaven. Jesus is formed inside of us. And it's all because he died for us and was buried and rose again. My friend, today, that love of the cross is just as real as it was 2,000 years ago. If you'll invite Jesus to come into your heart today. Well, let's take you now back to a song, and then we will continue. When I think of how He came so far from glory, came to dwell among the lowly, such as I. To suffer shame and such disgrace On Mount Calvary take my place Then I ask myself this question Who am I? Who am I that a king would bleed and die for? Who am I that he would pray, not my will, thine, Lord? The answer I may never know, why he ever loved me so. And to an old rugged cross he'd go, for who am I? When I'm reminded of his words, I'll leave thee never. Just be true and I'll give to you new life forever. Oh, I wonder what I could have done to deserve God's only son. Fight my battles until they're won For who am I? Who am I that a king would bleed and die for? Who am I that he would pray Not my will, thine law? The answer I may never know Why He ever loved me so And to an old rugged cross He'd go For who am I? And to an old rugged cross He'd go For who am I? When I think about the love of the cross, I think about how God has declared all of us righteous who have been born again. Listen to 2 Corinthians 5, 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. There's no way that we can get to heaven without perfect righteousness. So the death of Christ on the cross, his love coming all the way from glory, to declare us righteous. I don't believe there's enough preaching on imputed righteousness in Romans chapter four. God puts us in a perfect standing, not perfect in the flesh, but perfect standing through Christ. 
Listen to Romans 3.25, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. When we put our faith in the perfect blood of Jesus, He declares us righteous. I pray today that you're not in your own righteousness, but you're in the righteousness of God. Listen to Psalm 89, 14. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. When you think about the love of the cross, mercy and truth kissed each other at the cross. Jesus took our sins, declared us righteous. God is still holy, still just, and yet we are forgiven. Praise God. Stay tuned. I'll be back with some more. Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise. For it was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just who has blessed and encouraged believers around the world since the 1980s. He has recorded well over 600 songs. Some of the music that you're hearing today is from the newest CD, The Story of Life, which contains some powerful ministry songs, plus songs that will lift up your spirits and bring joy into your heart. The story of life is a glorious thing. Way up in the sky, His love can lift you high. And I'm gonna tell His name is Jesus who I know well And what a day that will be When Jesus will see And there will be forevermore You can have any three of Carol's musical CDs for a gift to the ministry of only $30 or any 15 CDs for $125 plus shipping and handling. And when you call, ask about our quantity specials for Carol's entire musical library. Call 1-800-523-3228. That's 1-800-523-3228. Or visit us at carolrobertson.com. And thank you again for helping us to keep these programs going into the hearts of people everywhere. There's just one God who made everything. 
We would like to give you a personal invitation to join us on our next pilgrimage to the Holy Land, March the 17th through the 28th, 2024. Four nights in Jerusalem, five nights at the Sea of Galilee, plus a three-day optional tour to the country of Jordan and visit the mysterious city of Petra, one of the seven wonders of the world. I cannot tell you what walking in the land of Israel has done for me over these years. It makes the Bible jump off the page into your heart. Please make plans to go with us, and this will be a life changer, I promise you. Join us, call the number on the screen, 423-309-8555. 423-309-8555. Our tour coordinator is Linda Shoemaker, a volunteer who really loves the Lord, and she will help you to get signed up today. One God who made everything One life His praises to sing One Savior we can embrace Two gifts of mercy and grace There's just one God who made everything One God One God Who made the sky The sun and moon The stars that shine He so loved the world that He gave His Son so we could be saved There's just one God Who made everything One day in heaven will be His face we shall behold In all His righteousness We'll see the King on His throne one God, one God, three persons we know, three persons we know, with Jesus the Son and the Holy Ghost. Even though we can't understand how Jesus became a man, there's just one God. Who made everything Even though we can't understand How Jesus became a man There's just one God Who made everything When I think about the love of the cross I think about the eternal life of God being given to us. You see, it's not a new thing, only from our perspective. God is giving us His eternal life through Christ. 1 John 5, 13, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Praise God. I read that verse to a man witnessing to him the other day and it just brought such joy to his life. You can know for sure that you have eternal life because it's not based on our performance. It's based on the finished work of Christ. Eternal life, think about that. Say you live to be 90 or 100, that's not very long, but we're talking about as long as God lives, eternity, we will live because of the cross. The Bible says in John 10, 28 through 30, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Reflecting here, Jesus is on His deity. He is God in the form of a man. And He is giving us eternal life. It is a gift. 
We stumble over faith, don't we? He gives us His eternal life. Also, when I think about the love of the cross, I also think about God's love for Israel. This is something you don't hear much when you talk about the cross. The scars in the hands of Jesus are going to be a sign to Israel when He returns. Listen to Zechariah 12.10. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. And they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son. And shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Look in Zechariah 13.6. And one shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thine hands? Then he shall answer, Those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. When Jesus returns to Israel, they're going to see the scars in his hands and they're going to realize how much he loved them and how much he died for their sins 2,000 years ago. And the Bible says there's going to be one third of Israel come through the tribulation period and they're going to acknowledge Jesus when they see the wounds in his hands. Even though they're living in unbelief, most of Israel today, Jesus still loves them. And He is going to show His love for them one day when He returns. And it's going to be a national, national repentance for Israel when they see the scars in His hands. You know what? We're going to see the scars in His hands one day. And we're going to be reminded throughout all of eternity how much Jesus loves us. The love of God. Could we with ink the ocean fill, and were the skies of parchment made, were every stalk on earth a quill, and every one a scribe by trade, to write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. Everlasting life because of God's everlasting love. I pray today that you will come to know the love that sent Jesus to the cross. Jesus said, Whosoever will may come to Him and drink of the water of life that He gives. No matter what your sin may be His blood will make you clean Come to Him Come to Him You will find, you will find He will hear the sinner's cry and by faith offer mercy to whosoever will God so loved the world that He gave His Son To die and give His life blood For all who will believe God's mercy is the sinner's plea The sacrifice for sin was He Come to Him you will find He will hear the sinner's cry And by faith offer mercy to Whosoever will come to Him Whosoever will come to Him is the story told of old Whosoever will come to Him Will find peace for their soul Jesus stands at your heart's door If you will let Him in Come to Him you will find He will hear the sinner's cry And by faith offer mercy to 
whosoever will. Survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. My richest gain I count but loss and pour contempt on all my pride. And did my Savior bleed? And did my Sovereign die? Would He devote that sacred head For such a worm as I? At the cross, at the cross Where I first saw the light And the burden of my heart rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight And now I am happy all the day I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary I believe whatever the call and when time has surrendered And earth is no more I'll still cling to the old rugged cross I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary I believe whatever the cost and when time has surrendered and earth is no more I'll still cling to the old rugged cross and when time has surrendered Bible messages are now available on our new ministry app. Just go to your app search and type in Carol Robertson Ministries and download it free. Also, you can follow Carol on Facebook each day and hundreds of videos are available on YouTube. We rejoice that the Lord is using this ministry to reach countless people for Christ in the U.S. and many parts of the world.